Hey guys, so it is a race day and we are getting ready to load up the truck and just be ready here in like the next hour and a half we'll be getting on the road. There she is in all her black glory. <laughs> um, yeah, don't mind my trailer. She's, she's, a, she's a trooper, she's been around, <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'm super excited. Let's load this thing up. Let's turn the old girl on. You can hear the lifty pump. I call it that, my lift pump. <laughs> Let's load this thing up. No real reason to just let it idle or anything. Yeah, and uh, a buddy of mine named Holden's visiting and uh, he wanted to ride passenger in El Gapo, so I let him <laughs> put a beanbag in his bitch. Oh man, let's blow this thing up. It's always kind of sketchy, I'll be honest with y'all. Oops, I guess since we're all, I'm on gravel, it doesn't want to go up. Especially this little pebble rock shit. But she is on there. Oh man, I fucking love this combo right here. Did he pull by the limited? Oh yeah, and then you can see how much smoke this thing blows out. That, that's the windows and the side are just covered in so it. Gonna be a good day, guys. We are out here, guys, at Paradise Drag Strip for keep a day. Big cash day shootout, big payouts, motor classes, 28 inch class, power out of class and all motor class. And our team with Nick Hilton and Kodak, big Kodak, is in the 28 inch class. And then we got El Gapo in the power out of class. So we'll see how this goes. y'all rundown of uh what transpired this uh past weekend you know i was really expecting it for be an awesome show an awesome weekend uh, and to really like help like take off with my next vlog or whatever and uh nope it ended up being a pretty crazy weekend um sadly i didn't i didn't really record um much of what had happened um I just didn't think that other people's misfortunes 
are are right like it, it's not right in my opinion to post other people like you know the bad things that happen to other people just for views or whatever that's just not me i don't know i i i know that a lot of people post like a lot of a lot of like things bad things that happen or whatever it's just that's just not me I, i'm just not really gonna post it so um so we did end up getting a race i thought it was gonna be with a gtr but there was so much noise and the announcer really wasn't we you really couldn't hear it whatsoever um uh we were walking around and they told us so seven o'clock is whenever you know driver's meeting is going to happen i entered el gapo into the power adder class the one power adder class which was supposed to start off at seven but um for whatever reason they changed it over to small tire and they uh they said yeah we're starting small tire class at at uh at seven with for whoever doesn't know the small tire class is usually like the grudge racers the more like race car looking guys like the more pro mod looking cars and whatnot um that have a true 28 inch tire on their on their cars or whatever but uh and then after that was going to be power rider class well they ended up starting like till past eight so it was already pretty late by the time that my class the power adder class ended up starting um and then since i couldn't hear the announcer or whatever um for uh the the uh power adder class it it ended up being an issue because i ended up showing up late and they finally started calling like the people up and i was just like oh damn like i need to I need to like get up there and figure out what's going on because I had locked in first round call out with a GTR that was there. Um, well, it turns out that I didn't hear it and multiple other people didn't hear it. So I was one of the very last ones to enter. And then I ended up drawing on a 2018 Golf R Volkswagen all wheel drive. The, the guy told me that he had like, you know, a good amount of like mods done to it. I think like upgraded turbo and um exhaust tuning i don't know about few i think he had like fueling issues i mean fueling upgrades as well i can't remember to be honest with you um so they're they're pretty spry little cars i i gotta say like i think they're pretty cool little cars i mean the guy told me that with like him in it is 3200 pounds um that's really light i mean these cars can i mean with what he had done to it i mean from what i've read up on them 450 500 horsepower that's enough to like beat you know a lot of a lot of cars out there so i was just like okay this thing this thing might be pretty interesting so so um i will be posting by the way uh the, the clips of the race uh right after the right after like i give my whole rundown or whatever i'll be posting top side from the middle and then from the starting line as well um that way you guys can see like from multiple angles but yeah so um long story short uh, a lot of drama ended up happening um literally like right before uh my race there was a wreck a guy that we know wrecked his fox body um the left lane had been oiled down multiple times by people and the left lane really wasn't being cleaned up right like it, it was kind of like in my opinion half-assed so it was kind of sketchy i ended up racing uh like two three rounds after and the the uh they they ended up uh finally like fit, trying to finish up like the grudge races that they like were really heavily promoting or whatever so two mustangs um ended up racing and they also ended up crashing the left lane broke loose right at the finish line and ended up hitting the guy in the right lane so then after that um people tried to fight you know they tried to you know blame blame certain things and people or whatever for for that accident because the guy in the right lane ended up losing his entire car and his build you know nobody wants that and so that was pretty a pretty crappy moment uh, of the night and then everything after that was a whole lot of drama arguments with like the track staff and the uh the guy that was throwing the event and police had to be called and and uh basically 
the event got canceled. No more, no more racing. Small tire and power at a class, the one that I was in, they finished for their first round. Uh, we, we finished first round or whatever. I went obviously to the second round because I beat the hook all far. But since the event got canceled, the the promoter of the event ended up just breaking the money down for the, everybody that ended up winning and making it to the second class. They they just broke the money back down. Uh, it was a two hundred fifty dollar buy in. So since I won my one race, he gave me double that, which was five hundred bucks. Um, and uh, that was that's basically the long story uh, made into a, a short condensed version. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'll. I'll I'm, I'm kind of just going to post uh, everything that I was able to record, um, and, uh, and I just hope you guys enjoy. That was pretty much it. Um, also, um, I was really happy, the, the, the bright side of this, I'm, I'm trying to be positive about it, is that I ended up winning my first race. <laughs> I ended, El Gapo won his first race. I was I was super stoked. Um, it wasn't anything crazy. I just wanted to make an ADB pass uh, with the truck and give it enough where that golf R would not be a problem. And it, the truck just did did what it had to do, straight up. It just did what it had to do, and I was super stoked, super happy. Um, I had to give a huge shout out to all my buddies that pulled me up to the line, helped me out, and everything like that. Nick, Nick Hilton, Garrett Maddox, the Shiflets, um, Scotty, Taylor Hoyt, uh, Alec, Chris Castle, all those guys, all, all every, I'm sure I'm forgetting multiple other people, but hey, like, that's just, that's just the awesome part about racing is just the camaraderie, that's what I really appreciate about it, so, so, um, yeah, that, that ended up happening, uh, they, they really came in clutch too, because, the people at the starting line were crowding so bad I could not get to the line um so they made way for me and that was awesome I really appreciate it and we ended up doing a couple things to the truck before uh this past weekend and I can't thank everybody enough for it so I was really happy but um yeah guys um I'm gonna keep doing this vlogging thing and uh and keep just sharing like you know my life with the truck and everything like that and, and just racing and and hope hope you guys enjoy i really appreciate it seriously so y'all have a good one